Hello everyone, guess who's back? Me, and I'm here to disappoint you. Uh, we got a new legend coming out, and her name is Kaya, and she is Spear Bow. What everyone has been asking for, thank you, BMG. Uh, anyways, so uh, today is Wednesday, January 10th, and Kaya just came out. She seems to be from uh, Egypt. Yeah, I'm, I'm just kidding. Uh, she's from the Ice Age, I suppose, and she has an ice mammoth named Blue. But you're gonna hear about her right now! Where's she at, though? There's she at, though. Oh, okay, so... I haven't played Kaya at all yet. Her stats, though, are 4 strength, 4 dexterity. It looks like 7 defense and 7 speed. Which I think is pretty solid. And then she has these skins here, this is a classic. Then you have Huntress. And then you have Snowstalker, which I like a lot, and I think everyone likes a lot. And then you have Aurora Kaya, which I think I might get if I don't get Snowstalker. I'm kind of between the two. I'll probably get one of them in a chest, eventually. So, yeah. And now to look at the lore. The Natural. Kaya, daughter of Q Kiviuk. The fate of all people is in your hands. If you fail, the sky will fall, the sun will vanish, and the world will be consumed by monsters. This is your destiny. A great owl spirit. Got it, no problem. Says Kaya. You know what it kind of reminds me of? Far Cry Primal. Except this is Kaya and not Nash. Anyways, as the story goes, when Kaya was six, she could put an arrow through a falling snowflake. At eight, she brought down two bison with one spear throw. At ten, she was visited by an owl spirit who told her she would decide the fate of her world. More interesting to her, the spirit also showed her how to befriend the woolly mammoth. Atop her great mammoth, Blue, Kaya became the beloved icon of her tribe, the People of the Lights. Kaya and Blue stalked every corner of the frozen tundra, finding adventure and amassing a huge supply of lost mittens. In Kaya's 14th year, the Ice Titans, thought to be only a legend, brutally attacked Kaya's village. The Titans pillaged or destroyed every store of food, skin, or kayak. Though still a child, Kaya and Blue led her people through the Northern Lights, straight into the heart of Jotunheim. In the Titan homeland, Kaya fought with a reckless bravery and tactical brilliance of one far beyond her years. The Valkyrie Hypernia saw Kaya's unconquerable heart and offered her a place in the Warrior Seven. In Valhalla, Kaya rejoiced in exploring the strange world of Asgard with her best friend, Hypernia's young daughter Bryn. Now, as Bryn has grown older, Kaya has begun to take an interest in the Grand Tournament as well, and she thinks perhaps she and Blue will give it a try. So I don't know exactly how this works in the context of the lore, because it says she was 10 years old when she was given like her destiny, or uh, her fate was told to her, and she was able to befriend a woolly mammoth. And then she was still a child when she led, uh, she was 14 when the Titans attacked her village. And then uh, she took everyone into Jotunheim, the Titan homeland, and fought. So I don't know if that means she died, because she was claimed by Hypernia. Which, I mean, I would assume means that uh, she dead. So that means that she's been perpetually, like, what, 14? I would assume. And it, is, it has ties to Brynn, but that doesn't matter, because no one likes Brynn. Because no one likes Brynn. Because no one likes Brynn. Okay, Kaya! So I already went through her skins, but I need to go through her colors. So this is classic Kaya, I'm going to go through her colors really quickly. And another time. Okay, you got gray, pink, red, white, and black. And sky forged. And then regular. And then other skins. One more time. Okay, that should be good enough. And then let's go through this again. He's actually pretty good. I like this guy forged. It's pretty good. Oh, and I don't think I covered this one yet. This is one of my favorite ones in black. And it looks good in sunset too. And gray. Bam. There we go. Yeah. So. I'm gonna play with this one, because it's uh, the one that I don't think everyone is going to go for immediately. Uh, oh, I need to go through weapon skins too. Duh. Okay, so this one looks kind of like a like a trident, except curves inwards. It's called Prey Catcher, and then that's just like pretty much a regular bow. It looks like it's kind of made out of bones. And then you got some sort of weird spear. It's a harpoon. And then you got a, a bow with a deer head on it, I guess. And then, you know, just an, like an owl spear, and then a bow with like owl faces on it. And then you got one that's like a wing, and then it's made out of energy there or something. Pretty litty. A scary! And we're gonna play on something cold. Something something cold that isn't Twilight Grove. Is there anything cold that isn't Okay, we're gonna be playing on a big Twilight Grove. 
So I haven't actually been here to record a video in a while. It's not that I didn't have time, I just didn't feel like it. So, uh, there we go, we got a weapon. And I guess we're starting off with a bow, perfect. So I need to set everything up real quick. Okay, okay. I need to hit her real quick so that way she uh, regenerates her health. There she goes. Okay, so Kaya. Bow Spear. Let's check out her neutral sig with bow. And it looks like it's kind of like Ember's neutral sig in a way. Except she slides, and I like it a lot. And she shoots the little owl. So I imagine there's some way to tie it in with like... Eh, 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 eh. Maybe. Okay, you can you can downlight that. I thought it wouldn't work, but then it does work. You just gotta get it right. Just right. Just right. There we go. Okay. Let's do that one more time. And go back. So, the hitboxes do not start until she has already shot her ice arrow thing. And they start when the owl starts flying out and then expand with the wings. And overall, they fit that pretty well. And then, uh... And it disperses and they're gone. Then you have Kaya's bow side sig. Where she just kind of does that. She kind of like kicks up the snow. And then shoots them up if you get a hit. That lifted her really high. That'll help for some ladders, in my opinion. So let's uh, see when the hitboxes start on this one. Okay, so hitboxes start as soon as she starts running. And then they move up as she kicks up, as you would assume, and then there's obviously going to be one when she shoots her arrow. So let's hit Ember while running. And it does 34.04 damage when fully charged, and 29 damage when not fully charged. And I suppose I should try to get the neutral sig and see how much damage it does, but I think it only did, like, not that much. 26, okay. So that's the neutral sig and side sig, and now time for the down sig. It's uh, somewhat like Caspian's down sig, uh, except instead of launching forward, uh, she goes backwards and then just shoots an arrow. And I'll show the animation for it in, uh, in frame by frame. So she hits them with some ice, the hitboxes start as soon as she shoots the arrow into the ice, and they follow the ice, and then uh, it freezes the enemy. I actually really like that, how it freezes the enemy like in their silhouette, or like falls their body, and the hitbox begins with the arrow as soon as it would reach the enemy and then it continues on a little bit further forward so that's kaya's bow and we'll show some combos with that later i'll show some combos with that later you'll show some combos with that later i don't i don't want to play koji i want the spear okay now this is kaya's spear her neutral sig she summons her mammoth and just kind of lifts them up and it does 28.08 damage when kind of like half charged 26 damage when not charged at all, and when fully charged, 32.22 damage, and I imagine, oh, is that, that wasn't true, was it? Dodge window 10, I think it said. So there you go, and I'll show that in a frame by frame. If you miss, then uh, nothing really special happens, but if you hit it, you uh, hit with the spear. So let's hit that with a frame by frame real quick. Hitboxes start after you release, and it starts with a mammoth uh, lifting its tusks and its nose, I guess, its trunk. And then the enemy is stunned for that entire duration until she launches forward with her spear, and as soon as she uh, like kind of gets halfway through the mammoth, or like, probably two-thirds through the mammoth animation, or maybe one-third, uh, her spear hitboxes begin, and it just launches them diagonally upwards, and it, I don't know if it has any variable force or if that's just fixed force. I imagine it's variable because it's a sig. So yeah. Um, then you got down sig. I like that a lot. It's like Brins, but lasts long. And you can cut it off. So, when it gets a hit, she then pokes them. And I will show that in an animation. And I'll show that in frame by frame. So, upon uh, about three frames, four or five Around five or six frames into the spin, the hitbox starts. It's a circle directly in front of her, it looks like, and then uh, one that's... Here, let's see this. It starts right there. I think that's activation. And that's active. 
and it's just two circles, one really large one in front of her and one like a little bit, one a distance in front of her and one immediately in front of her. And then in, once the enemy would have probably reached the ground, that's when her hitbox starts with her spear. It's just straight and follows the edge of the spear to send the enemy outwards. So that's her side sig, I think. No, that was her down sig. Her side sig, you just saw. She launches forward and then uh, kind of just harpoons them and lifts them up the other way. And I will show a frame by frame of that as well. So her hitbox starts as soon as the spear reaches the opponent, as one might assume with this animation. At first it travels uh, like somewhat to the, like the shaft of the spear and towards the tip. And then it's at just the tip of the spear and it sends them downwards into the ground. Not straight down, but diagonally. They're then frozen and then she lifts them up and then the next hitbox begins. Never, it's just force. Okay, so now that you've seen all of her sigs, let's uh, do some combos. So I believe there was one that I saw. Yeah, you can do side light to neutral sig. And I imagine it'd be good for a dodge read because a lot of people will expect you immediately do a down light. So I, I have played against some people that will dodge immediately after the side light because I don't think side light down light is true anymore. No, it has a dodge one of three. So some people will try to dodge that down light so you could probably just punish them by hitting with the neutral sig. And then you got, that's pretty good as well. So you poke them a few times and you launch forward and then down sig them. Or you could just poke them a few times and then side sig them, but that has a pretty large dodge window. And that one only has 14, which uh, it's pretty bad, but it'll catch people off guard occasionally. One that might be considered is probably uh, Falling Sair. Let's see, Falling Sair, down sig? Didn't have to dash. I did it again. Falling Sair. Oh. I have timed this right. It seems like there's too much of a cooldown on the Falling Sair, but so you have to get it like frame perfect, but it's only got a dodge window of 13, 8. So you can get it pretty low, that's not bad if you're gonna hit them on the ground. You don't necessarily have to get it frame perfect, but you have to be pretty fast and time your inputs correctly. So with Spear, you have Falling Sair down sig, you have Neutral light down sig as sort of a dodge punish, and then you have a definite dodge punish, which is side light neutral sig. And let's try to get something with a side sig, I suppose. Bam, 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 bam. Nope. Bam, 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 bam. Uh, that could work if they have a good amount of force on them, or after you side air them, perhaps. Bam, bam. Oh wait. Okay, I gotta time this correctly. I don't know what I'm doing. So I feel like that could work. Assuming that they jump immediately after getting side aired, which uh, I don't think should happen all too often. But overall, three uh, pretty good, pretty good combos or strings with your spear. Let's try your bow. Uh, you've seen that uh, the neutral light to neutral sig isn't going to work all too well, unless you can get the dash back quick enough. And it looks like, much like Ember Sigs, again, the dashing will uh, affect them and their travel, like Ember's down, uh, Guitar Down Sig. Instead of hopping backwards, you'll merely stay in place if you dash forward before it. But you can probably hit with, there you go, you can get a Side Light Side Sig. And I, I took a way too long for that, but you can actually get a pretty good one with the dash. 11, not bad. Then you got, if you uh, space it correctly, you can land the down light neutral sig, but I have some troubles with it. Dodge window of 10 if you get it correct, if you get it right. And let's try, did I already do the down sig? Not. So let's try, bam, bam. That's, that's pretty smooth. You get a side light and then back dash, down sig. Maybe even side light, forward dash, down sig. Th though that seems to have quite a large window. I think my favorite one for bow is going to have to be the side play, uh, side sig so far, but let's try some aerial attacks. So you can hit them with a down air onto the ground and then slide into the side sig, which has quite a long dodge window, in my opinion. Uh, perhaps a... let's try and bam, bam, maybe a down sig.
That is way too long of a dodge window. I'm sure someone can else can figure that out. Um, side air, side sig, dodge window 17. If you hit them with that, perhaps, bam, bam. Oh, bam, 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 bam. I don't know. I'm just kind of testing things out. Oh, so sometimes people will dodge after the downlight, so you can't hit them with the downlight down sig as a dodge punish. Um, assuming that they do dodge downwards, as they'll then be in the air and they'll get a dodge as opposed to a dash immediately. But yeah, overall, I think that's all I can really say about Kaya. I'm sure I probably missed something or other, but I'm not entirely sure. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'd like to say thank you all for watching. I don't know how long this recording has gone on for, but I'll... I don't know. I should probably end it now to keep it quick and snappy. Yeah, thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time I upload a video. Stay frosty.